play grows an inch. Um, just uh, how, how much uh, how much does that affect your game, and uh, just just you know, how do you think it will affect on court? Uh, it didn't affect my game too much. Um, I think more <coughs> what affected my game more is getting bigger physically. Uh, but I guess I got lucky with the inch. My dad was pretty tall. Well, I was short, but my grandfather was tall, so I guess I got lucky to get an inch. Like grow that? Um, and Oaks was just in the air said, you know, your shooting's gotten better. Just what have you done this offseason to, to try to improve that? Uh, I think I always, like, to shoot the ball, but it's a matter of being consistent. Uh, last year, I wasn't that consistent, so this year, uh, focusing on consistency. And there's like little tweaks with my shot that uh, Coach Pernod has been helping me fix, and as well as my dad. So uh, just listening to them to stay consistent with my shot, because uh, last year there were, there were some little things that I did that maybe missed, and of course taking good shots. So that's what I'm gonna focus on this year. Are you with Nick Kelly? Yeah, you guys have a almost completely new roster. I mean, what stands out about the new guys? Anyone to stand out to you so far? Oh, uh, the new guys are great. Uh, Coach Oates, I knew that was that was tough because Coach Oates can't really play for him. They're kind of tough, so I knew that was already tough on the court. But off the court, we're real close. I hang out with I hang out with somebody every day on the team, uh, whether it's at their house, uh, doing something, eating, just little things, just. Um, I feel like even though they're new, they feel like they've been here for a while already, uh, like years. So just great, we brought in great guys, and they're all going to contribute uh, significantly. I feel like. The back of Nick Alvarez. What's the learning process like with three new assistant coaches coming in and also trying to help you guys? I uh, just learning. Uh, uh, last year we had three different assistants. Just learning who they are as people. Uh, learning. Uh, how they communicate too, because you know you can't, you don't want to take communication the wrong way or anything. They just want us to get better. So I feel like we uh, got lost three great assistants, but we replaced them with three great assistants, and I feel like I'm learning more from them to, uh, this year, um, and I feel like they're gonna make me better, and they're gonna make the whole team better. Uh, so I'm very excited we brought in all three assistants. Um, I don't think there was anybody else that could have got better than any of these three. So I'm excited to learn from them as well as Coach Oates. Katie. Hey, Ryan, you already talked about kind of your relationship with some of the new guys and hanging out with them, but as one of the only returners on this team, do you, did you feel any sort of responsibility to maybe kind of show the guys the ropes or maybe kind of step up as a leader if this is how we do things here? Yeah, definitely. Uh, that was a talk that I had with uh, Coach Oates. He told me uh, before the, before we got back, you, know, you got to lead. And so I've never really been a leader uh, vocally. I never, like, high school, I didn't lead vocally. I really talk last year, so uh, it, it's been so it was an adjustment. It wasn't very comfortable at the beginning, and I struggled with it. But I think I'm getting better now, and just trying to lead. And just I just I just watch the coaches, see how they lead, how they talk to certain players different than they talk to other players, stuff like that. Because I gotta be able to communicate with all my teammates and uh, communicate at them, come at them respectfully in the right way. Anything else? Awesome. Thank you, Rob. Thank you.